In the world of medicine, antibiotics play a crucial role in the treatment of bacterial infections. Among the many antibiotics available, one stands out for its powerful effectiveness and versatility, azithromycin. This remarkable medication has become a go-to choice for healthcare professionals worldwide, thanks to its broad spectrum of activity against a wide range of bacteria. Whether it's a respiratory infection, skin infection, or even sexually transmitted diseases like chlamydia, azithromycin has proven time and again to be a formidable weapon in the fight against bacterial invaders. But what makes this antibiotic truly exceptional is not just its ability to wipe out harmful bacteria, but also its unique characteristics that set it apart from its counterparts. In this video, we will dive into the world of azithromycin, exploring its mechanism of action, its uses, and why it has become a trusted ally in the battle against bacterial infections. Get ready to uncover the power of azithromycin and discover how it can revolutionize the way we combat bacterial diseases. How does azithromycin work? Azithromycin belongs to a class of antibiotics known as macrolides. It exerts its potent antibacterial effects by inhibiting the synthesis of bacterial proteins. Specifically, azithromycin targets the ribosomes, which are the cellular machinery responsible for protein production in bacteria. By binding to the ribosomes, azithromycin prevents the bacteria from producing essential proteins needed for their survival and reproduction. This ultimately leads to the death of the bacteria and eradication of the infection. Unlike other antibiotics, azithromycin has a unique property called, concentration-dependent killing. This means that the higher the concentration of azithromycin in the body, the more effective it is at killing bacteria. This characteristic allows for shorter treatment durations and less frequent dosing, making it more convenient for patients. Additionally, azithromycin has a long half-life, meaning it remains active in the body for an extended period. This allows for once daily dosing, further enhancing patient compliance and convenience. Indications for using azithromycin Azithromycin is approved by the Food and Drug Administration FDA, for the treatment of various bacterial infections. Its broad spectrum of activity makes it effective against both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Some of the common indications for using azithromycin include Respiratory infections Azithromycin is often prescribed for respiratory tract infections such as bronchitis, pneumonia, and sinusitis. It can effectively target and eliminate bacteria responsible for these infections, providing relief to patients. Skin and soft tissue infections Azithromycin is also effective in treating skin and soft tissue infections caused by susceptible bacteria. Conditions such as cellulitis, impetigo, and infected wounds can be successfully treated with azithromycin. Sexually transmitted infections Azithromycin is the drug of choice for treating chlamydia, a common sexually transmitted infection. It is highly effective against the bacteria responsible for chlamydia, making it a reliable treatment option. Genital and reproductive tract infections Azithromycin is also used in the treatment of other genital and reproductive tract infections, including cervicitis, pelvic inflammatory disease, PID, and urethritis. Its effectiveness against a wide range of bacteria makes it a valuable tool in managing these infections. Common bacterial infections treated with azithromycin Azithromycin is effective against a variety of bacterial infections, making it a versatile antibiotic. Some of the common bacterial infections treated with azithromycin include Streptococcal infections Azithromycin is often used to treat streptococcal infections such as strep throat and scarlet fever. It effectively targets the bacteria responsible for these infections, providing relief and preventing complications. Legionnaire's disease Azithromycin is the preferred treatment for Legionnaire's disease, a severe form of pneumonia caused by the Legionella bacteria. Its broad spectrum of activity ensures effective eradication of the bacteria, reducing morbidity and mortality. Mycoplasma infections Mycoplasma pneumoniae is a common cause of community-acquired pneumonia. Azithromycin is highly effective against this bacterium, making it an appropriate choice for treating mycoplasma infections. Gonorrhea Azithromycin, in combination with another antibiotic, is used to treat gonorrhea. This sexually transmitted infection can lead to serious complications if left untreated, but azithromycin provides an effective treatment option. Lyme disease Azithromycin is sometimes used as an alternative treatment for Lyme disease, particularly in cases where the standard antibiotic therapy is contraindicated or not tolerated. While not the first line treatment, it can be effective in certain situations. Azithromycin dosage and administration. The dosage and administration of azithromycin may vary depending on the specific indication and the patient's age and weight. 
It is important to follow the prescribed dosage and duration of treatment as directed by the healthcare professional. Azithromycin is available in different formulations, including tablets, capsules, oral suspension, and intravenous IV, formulations. The choice of formulation depends on the patient's age, ability to swallow medications, and the severity of the infection. For most bacterial infections, the typical adult dosage of azithromycin is a single 500 mg dose on the first day, followed by 250 mg once daily for the remaining four days. The duration of treatment may be extended for certain infections or in special populations, such as patients with compromised immune systems. Pediatric dosages are weight-based and should be determined by the healthcare provider. It is important to complete the full course of treatment, even if symptoms improve before the medication is finished. This ensures that all bacteria are eradicated and reduces the risk of antibiotic resistance. If a dose is missed, it should be taken as soon as possible, unless it is close to the next scheduled dose. In such cases, the missed dose should be skipped and the regular dosing schedule resumed. Potential Side Effects of Azithromycin Like any medication, azithromycin may cause certain side effects. Most side effects are mild and resolve on their own without any intervention. However, some individuals may experience more severe side effects that require medical attention. Common side effects of azithromycin include Gastrointestinal upset Azithromycin can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain in some individuals. These symptoms are usually mild and self-limiting, but if they persist or worsen, medical advice should be sought. Allergic reactions Rarely, azithromycin can cause allergic reactions such as rash, itching, swelling, or difficulty breathing. If any signs of an allergic reaction are observed, immediate medical attention should be sought. Liver function abnormalities. In rare cases, azithromycin may cause liver function abnormalities. Symptoms may include yellowing of the skin or eyes, dark urine, or persistent abdominal pain. If these symptoms occur, medical attention is necessary. QT prolongation. Azithromycin, like other macrolide antibiotics, has the potential to prolong the QT interval on an electrocardiogram ECG. This can lead to a life-threatening heart rhythm disorder called torsades de points. Patients with a history of heart problems or those taking medications that can prolong the QT interval should use azithromycin with caution. It is important to discuss any concerns or side effects with a healthcare professional. They can provide guidance and determine if any adjustments to the treatment plan are necessary. Precautions and contraindications for using azithromycin While azithromycin is generally well tolerated, there are certain precautions and contraindications that should be considered. These include Allergies Individuals with a known allergy to azithromycin or other macrolide antibiotics should avoid its use. Allergic reactions can range from mild to severe and can be life-threatening in some cases. Liver or kidney disease Azithromycin is primarily metabolized in the liver and eliminated through the kidneys. Individuals with severe liver or kidney disease may require dose adjustments or close monitoring while taking azithromycin. Myasthenia gravis Azithromycin can worsen symptoms in individuals with myasthenia gravis, a chronic autoimmune neuromuscular disorder. It is important to discuss this condition with a healthcare professional before starting azithromycin. Drug interactions Azithromycin can interact with certain medications, potentially altering their effectiveness or increasing the risk of side effects. It is important to inform the healthcare provider about all medications, including over-the-counter and herbal supplements, before starting azithromycin. Drug interactions with azithromycin Azithromycin can interact with various medications, potentially affecting their efficacy or increasing the risk of side effects. Some common drug interactions include Antacids Taking antacids that contain aluminum or magnesium within two hours of taking azithromycin can decrease its absorption and effectiveness. It is recommended to separate the administration of these medications to avoid this interaction. Warfarin Azithromycin can increase the anticoagulant effect of warfarin, leading to an increased risk of bleeding. Regular monitoring of clotting parameters is necessary when these medications are used together. Digoxin Azithromycin can increase the levels of digoxin in the blood, potentially leading to digoxin toxicity. Close monitoring of digoxin levels and signs of toxicity is essential when using these medications concurrently. Statins Certain statin medications used for cholesterol management, such as simvastatin and atorvastatin, can interact with azithromycin, increasing the risk of muscle damage. Dose adjustments or alternative medications may be necessary in some cases. 
It is important to inform the healthcare provider about all medications, including over-the-counter and herbal supplements, before starting azithromycin. They can assess the potential for drug interactions and make appropriate recommendations. Azithromycin versus other antibiotics. When it comes to treating bacterial infections, there are several antibiotic options available. Each antibiotic has its unique characteristics, and the choice of antibiotic depends on various factors such as the type of infection, the susceptibility of the bacteria, and patient-specific considerations. Azithromycin stands out among other antibiotics due to its broad spectrum of activity, long half-life, and convenience of dosing. Compared to other antibiotics, azithromycin has shown comparable or even superior efficacy in treating certain infections. For example, in the treatment of respiratory tract infections, studies have shown that azithromycin is as effective as other commonly used antibiotics such as amoxicillin or erythromycin. Its long half-life and once daily dosing also make it a more convenient option for patients. However, it is important to note that not all bacterial infections can be effectively treated with azithromycin alone. Some infections may require a different antibiotic or a combination of antibiotics to ensure optimal eradication of the bacteria. The choice of antibiotics should always be guided by the healthcare professional based on the specific infection and individual patient factors. Conclusion. The effectiveness of azithromycin in treating bacterial infections. Azithromycin has undoubtedly revolutionized the treatment of bacterial infections. Its broad spectrum of activity, unique characteristics, and convenience of dosing make it a powerful weapon in the fight against bacterial invaders. Whether it's a respiratory infection, skin infection, or sexually transmitted disease, azithromycin has consistently demonstrated its efficacy and safety in eradicating harmful bacteria. However, it is important to use azithromycin responsibly and only when necessary. Overuse or misuse of antibiotics can contribute to the development of antibiotic resistance, rendering these medications less effective in the long run. Healthcare professionals and patients alike have a responsibility to ensure that antibiotics are used judiciously and appropriately. In conclusion, azithromycin has earned its place as a trusted ally in the battle against bacterial infections. Its remarkable effectiveness, coupled with its unique characteristics, has made it a go-to choice for healthcare professionals worldwide. As we continue to face the ever-evolving challenges of bacterial diseases, azithromycin will undoubtedly remain a powerful tool in our arsenal, helping us combat bacterial infections and improve the health and well-being of individuals around the globe. Thanks for watching.